What's up guys and welcome to my unique weapon guide for the Bad Touch. Now I told I'd be doing all of Ms. Moxie's weapons and I am going to. Now you all probably know how to get this as well as the Bad Touch will be coming, which will be coming out after this video rather shortly. Um, basically you want to tip Moxie anywhere from $15,000 to $30,000 I believe. I believe here I get it for about fifteen or 16000 and... Base, I, I know I've gotten it for about maybe 30000 before. That's on a bad day. But you should get this gun rather cheap. See, so she just hands it out, pulls it out of her breasts, and hands it out to you. How does she fit that in there is what I would love to know. But anyway, let's get uh, right into this, guys. So, the red text. When I'm good, I'm very good. Always corrosive. Plus 70% critical hit damage. While wielding this gun, dealing damage will cause health regeneration. 2% of damage inflicted. And this is just like the Ruby, summary Ruby video. You could throw grenades, you could, like, shoot. Here's something I figured out. You could shoot unkept heralds, then switch to the gun, switch to, like, one of Moxie's guns, before the unkept herald bullets hit, and you're basically just gonna get full health with how much damage the unkept herald th heralds do. But, anyway. Now, similar to the good touch, the bad touch features a unique skin with a picture of Moxie on the magazine, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Bad Touch is an extremely powerful variant of the Maliwan Venom SMG, with high damage and elemental damage. Much like the Good Touch, it is a particularly good weapon for Siren builds, since their class mod bonuses to SMGs and elemental damage serve to make the already powerful weapon even better. Now in this video, I'm using the Legendary Siren class mod. I probably should have put the the witch class mod because it has the corrosive damage. So if you want to, if you're gonna rock this gun, if you're going into like an area with all loaders and you want to rock this gun, it'd be nice to put on like a corrosive relic and the witch class mod because you'd just be doing a ton of corrosive damage. Now, um, the de 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 de, I lost my place here on the wiki. Sorry. It is particularly useful in the later stages. Of the stages of the campaign, where a large percentage of enemies are loaders, which are vulnerable to corrosive damage. So I kinda said that, sorta, kinda, but anyway. But the thing about that is, if you want, like, a high version of this gun, you don't want to pick it up, um, like, before you get to, like, the max level. And we're gonna go into this, because, uh, the bad touch can usually be acquired by any, by a given character once per playthrough. After which, Moxie will instead give a good touch, which has happened to me a lot. Now, sometimes completing a story mission will uh, allow you to get another bad touch if you don't have a bad or good touch in your inventories. And the only way to acquire a high-level bad touch is to either never tip Moxie until Sanctuary reaches the desired loot level, or to have another player start a fresh character and join a higher-level player's game. Then that character tips Moxie enough money, obviously, if they get that character money. And that character tips in the bad touches scale to whatever your level is since you're the host. Now, the weapon's full title in the game, Files, is Miss Moxie's bad touch, which I believe is the one I got. However, Mix Mo Moxie's is treated as a prefix by the game engine and can be replaced with other prefixes. Like, um, others that do that are Captain Scarlet's, Sir Hammerlocks, and Captain Blades. Those are treated as prefixes as well. Now in co-op, Moxie can only award this weapon once per visit to Sanctuary. If subsequent players tip sufficiently to be awarded the bad touch or good touch, it happens with both, she will b give the award dialogue and the tip jar will lock, but she will not start the animation of offering the weapon. Tipping Moxie further on the next visit to Sanctuary will allow players to get the weapon they missed out on. This has happened a lot. We have tipped and tipped and she didn't give the gun. And sometimes I kind of... Sometimes, like, what I'll do is if my friends are going to get it, I'll just start mashing the tip button so it'll kind of glitch out and he won't get it because I'm mean like that. But anyway, he's not watching, so that's okay. Now, the flavor text, along with the text from Good Touch, refers to a line in the Mae West movie, I'm No Angel. The line itself is a reference to a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. That's, that's a, quite a name. The Bad Touch is one of the three weapons with a purple rarity in Borderlands 2 to have a red flavor text, with the other two being the Bone Shredder and the Good Touch. 
Come to think of it. Oh wait, never mind. It says it down here. There are also only two shields, the Deadly Bloom and the Love Thumper, and one relic, the Sheriff's Badge, which meet these criteria. All in all, there are only six weapon six items of purple rarity and red flavor text, which is true. I know there were a few in Borderlands 1 as well, and there was uh there was actually a few with, with gr that were green or red flavor text in Borderlands 1, but there are no green ones in this game. But basically, I kind of wasn't paying attention, and we got to the damage here. You can see the numbers for yourself. Decent all-around damage, um, but corrosive you don't want to use against flesh, because it uh you do 60% less damage, actually. Which, uh, yeah, you don't